Hello my fellow gamers and welcome to my first episode of Let's Play Banished. You should note that there is a small issue with the DirectX 11 at the moment, so if you have crashes or your frame rate is below 30, you should know that switching over to the DirectX 9 clears up all those problems. Also if you do not have any audio, then you should just download the latest DirectX that you can find on the Microsoft website. That is about it when it comes to any problems that I know that are most common. So let's get to the first city. New game. How should I name it? Well, the first city is going to be named by my own name. So it's going to be Peralland. Map seed, let's give it a good few changes. Terrain map. Well, I will start on valleys, small valleys, climate. I'm gonna go with the harsh climate because that means I won't be using farms, orchards and stuff like that. Disasters, of course, they should be on, have a lot of fun. And I will always stay on hard. I think that this is going to prolong the game for me and it's going to make it more fun for you to watch. So, Petaland on a small valley with a harsh climate and a starting condition at hard. Let's get to it! I'm really psyched to play this game. I was blown away when I first saw it and this is just gonna be so much fun. For me at least and I hope for you too. So let's see about those commands. Q to rotate, E to rotate, pretty much the same as with SimCity. W, S, A, D. Zoom in, zoom out. That's a pretty cool zoom out. Whoa, I love this lake here. Awesome place for fishing. Lots of places to develop small communities up here. Oh, this one can be a big one. Same over here, more fishing over here. I think this is going to be mostly a fishing village. I think it, the best way to make this game last longer for you and for me to make many let's plays is to specialize a village at something and not just create every village that can do everything at the same time because then you are going to get bored pretty quickly because this game has just as many features as it can considering the time and just one person making it. Uh, another thing that I want to point out before I start, I am going to keep doing Let's Plays for a long time and I hope you are going to enjoy them. I am also going to start the first giveaway with this video and it's gonna go to the person that writes the best short story about how these people that you have in front of your screen got banished from their original village. You can choose whether each family was banished by its own faults or was the entire group guilty of something and they were banished, you can choose whichever backstory you want. It is going to be a subjective giveaway because I will going to grade with a A plus the best story that I like. But don't worry, there are going to be some objective giveaways as well because I'm going to use the game miner to create giveaways that you just have to log in with your Steam. Don't worry, the site is safe just like the Humble giveaways or the Steam Gifts website, it's all safe, you just log in with your Steam account, you go to the link that I'm going to give you for my giveaway and if you're lucky enough you get the game. So how about we start? Let's see, simulation speed, okay that's the first option, how was it? 1, 2, no, F, F. I'm going to try and learn as many of these shortcuts as possible and you're probably going to learn them with me. So, show general statistics about the town. Yep, this is pretty useful. I think I will keep this right here. Show the map. No, I don't really need the map. It's a small map. As it is. Jobs. Yep, this is going to be pretty useful. Let's say we keep this down here. What do we have here? Oh, yep, those are the jobs. Show limits. Well, no, I can do that pair building. And that may building is right here at the moment. Path increase priority. Show camera location for the first navigation of important town locations. 
Oh, okay, so this is my center of sound, and this is going to be 8. Uh, I mean, I'm going to click it, and then I'm going to choose 1. So once I go over here, and 1 was Z, it's gonna instantly get me back over here. That's awesome. What else do we have? Show help and reference material. Well, I'm going to try and not use this too much and have fun just exploring the game. Homes and housing. Yep, we're gonna need some homes to start with. Bridges, roads, storage areas, some advanced buildings that I won't be building anytime soon. Food. Well, I see we are going to use a gatherer, hunting cabin, a lot of fishing, and maybe some pastures, but I'm Try, going to try to hold off on that for this city and I really need to start calling it a village research production well we are going to need a woodcutter for the first winter and what were these commands 8 9 f9 yep f9 for these and then I just say remove resource that would be 2 and I just choose okay so that's how that goes so how do I clear the mouse? Ah, right click. Okay, that makes sense. So Pearland has is at early spring, year one. I have eight adults, nine children. Temperature seems to be zero in early spring. Well, that's pretty cold. I think it's in Celsius. I've switched the option for Fahrenheit to Celsius. I have 1,200 of food, 20 tools, 20 clothes and 100 of firewood. I have no stored logs, no stored stone, no stored iron. So first thing I am going to need a stockpile. So what was it? F4, 5, 5 and then 2. Yep, that's for the stockpile. So where do I want my stockpile? Well, next to the resources. 5x5, five 4x4. By five, four by four. Let's build a big one. Let's say 6x6. Six six. Okay. I'm still in pause, I'm trying to just look over here and not go into the winter without building anything. So this is stockpile, they're going to now need to clear some of these resources. That would be F9 and 2 to remove resources. Okay, let's remove... I'll just remove this part up here and these first ones, like this. Okay, I missed it again. This is what I want. Clean this. And little nice pikes and what's this? Pike and X shows up to show you which resources are gonna get cut down. But as we get these resources, we are going to need, well, Housing can come after the actual buildings. What do we need first? We need somebody to gather food. A gatherer needs these old forests where he can find these small thingies here. There are mushrooms, berries, and stuff like that. So obviously this is going to be a good stuff for a gatherer. But since I do have that many families, I don't really need a gatherer, so a hunter would be okay, and there seems to be some game here, so I can just put a hunter, I'm going to try and not say plop, because I'm not playing SimCity anymore, so I'm gonna go with building, or planting down, or setting, setting foundations, or something like that. So food production, that would be 6, 7, F7. For a hunter, that would be a 6, no, a 5, yep, a 5. So if you press F, there is a possibility that some structures, you can change how they look. Hunting lodge, nope, you can't change. So how do we rotate the placement, like this, on R and T. Okay, so we want to just be able to get access to this game while not taking up this already cleared space. So let's say we put the hunter where it's going to be best placement for it about here. Okay, that has been... the plans for it have been set up, the foundations have been placed. Marked. Okay, let's say that. The foundations have been marked. And can I click on it? Yep, there it is. 
Okay, so they're all laborers, but now I will need some builders. Okay, actually that was like the cycle through the oh select and cycle through the system that already been assigned. I was actually supposed to click here. Yep. Two builders, the other ones can be laborers. So time, that would be F1 and space one pause. Now at speed one, this is gonna be Whoa, is this snow in early spring? This is really harsh. They're gonna get colder and colder as there is snow here and then they will work less but since they do have a place to warm up they're not going to stop working. Okay this is really slow paced so let's say we speed it up. What would be the key to speed up for? Okay I think this would be like the normal speed because going like this looks like the slow motion so 2x would be like normal speed. And now we can enjoy the game. The deer seem to be finding themselves in <laughs> some new civilization. They're now probably going to walk away. But don't worry, we're gonna shoot them with arrows and skin them for leather and we are going to eat them. If you're a vegetarian, well, I will start gathering a bit later on, so don't get creeped out immediately. So they are already putting the resources that they collect onto the stockpile and then the... Now the question is, do the builders take the resources to a building site or do the laborers do their job? Well, let's find out. Picking up resources, a builder. So that would then make the builders the ones that take the resources to a building site. Let's see what are the laborers doing. He's playing. You're playing as a labor. Okay, have fun. You are playing as well. You are playing as well. You're working. Ah, finally somebody who's working. So he's just working. He's doing the laborer's job. He cut down some trees. He carries it over to the stockpile. And nicely done. Okay, so how is the building progressing? Well, it's not. These guys are still picking up resources and they're not building. Why aren't you building? It has no resources. Okay, so you're idling. And the reason you're not building is... Uh, why? Okay, let's put the third builder. Maybe he'll start working. Picking up resources, picking up resources, picking up resources. Okay, so how about we use a tool that's already at our disposal? I think it's F9 and then... No, it's... is it? No, I think it's F2 actually and then it's increased priority. F... that would be... 6? And I'm increasing the priority for them to build the hunter's cabin. Okay, so now that I have increased the priority, they are going to eat. Okay, that's understandable. This one's picking up resources. What else can I do? I can... Well, uh, no other way that I can tell you to go to build. Where is that build? There it is. Okay, I think this guy is working and if he's... No, his job is labor. Okay, I'm getting confused now. <laughs> Who's gonna actually build this thing? Well, it's getting completed. Well, nobody is actually building it. <laughs> I guess uh, the bringing of resources and clearing the foundations also counts as being completed. Oh, here we go. So, 
This guy is a builder. She is a builder. But this one is the laborer. But they so the builders and the laborers will bring the resources. But only the builders will actually build the thing. Okay, so that's one important thing to figure out. Well, that's food. What do we need to survive the winter? Firewood. But in order to even use firewood, we need homes. So I not only need homes, I also need a woodcutter. The resources can go into the storage cart and the stockpile, so I don't really need a storage barn yet. But, like I said, I... Oh, no, no, I'm not gonna use that. F3 and then a wooden house. F1. And if I click on F, I can change how the house is going to look like. And if I use the R and T, I can rotate. So, let's see which one do I like. The one with the porch. Well, there isn't really a view from... Here, so let's say we use the one that has no porch, just the windows. So where should they live? Or they should live close to where they work. How many work at the hunter's lodge? Well, one at least. Okay, this would be the number of citizens working, while this would be the total number working in this profession. So if I put this up to four, this is going to fill up for this building. If I move this up any higher, I can get another worker to go in there. But okay, four should be enough. But for the limit, I doubt I'm gonna go above 5,000. So we got 400 now, only one laborer and three builders. But builders aren't building anything, so they are laboring. But they should start building homes. Like I said, the one without the porch and place it close to where they work. So I have placed, I have ordered four people to, four villagers to work. I'm going to be trying to get the words that I'm going to use correct for a few videos, probably until I get used to the banished vocabulary. So bear with me here. I need two houses because two pairs Actually, one pair of two people are going to live pair home, so with their children, of course. So if I have four of these hunters, I will need two homes. Let's say one goes here and a carbon copy of this building was like this, like this. I believe he gave me this one, but I think he changed it. I think I wanted this one. Yeah. So, next to here. So that's for hunters and two homes for those hunters. Now, do I have enough of the resources? 16 logs, 8 stone. I have plenty of logs and plenty of stone. So, actually I can stop taking... Nope. I'm not gonna click, I'm gonna use the keyboard. Uh, F9, and now I need to stop them from clearing any more res resources. How do I tell them to do that? Well, cancel remove, that's 7. So what was left to be removed? No, nope. actually they removed everything I told them to remove. Okay, that's probably why I have so many resources. These two homes are getting built. Now what's the next building that I'm going to need? Well, the woodcutter. A woodcutter would be at F... 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 8... and 1. So, I'm going to need the woodcutter. The woodcutter is going to get the wood from the stockpile, so he should be close to it. Let's say like this. I'm guessing the triangles show you where the road can go, so... The woodcutter can go here, and a road would go... I'm not gonna place any roads, just see... Yep, they go through there, okay. So that's the woodcutter. How many woodcutters can I have? I can have up to three. How many is enough to go through a winter with four homes? 
that's probably one woodcutter. And I do need some guys to go pick up some more logs for more wood. So I'm going to leave the laborers in place. Reduce the number of builders once they complete the woodcutter. But I also need two more homes for the woodcutter and the builders that are going to be the laborers and stay finished building. So more homes. F3, one house. Okay, how about a house right next to his workplace? That should be cool. So that's so the house is just one tile less in size. Well, one tile vertically less in size than the woodcutter. So in order to go into the road, that would be going through. Actually, that's two tiles if I'm not mistaken. Yep, that's two tiles. One, two, yep, two tiles. So the home would go here. Which home? Oh, well, let's give the woodcutter a nice porch. And that would be the woodcutter's home, and he can have a wife for a builder. Or a builder for a wife. Yeah, that makes more sense. It's summer, and I have two homes built. A woodcutter has been built. And I need to give somebody that job. How is it? Do we click here or here? Over here, right. Fuel limit. Let's go to 500. I want to make sure to have plenty of fire. Hunters, have they hunted anything? Nope, that's the center view. Production. Already 200 venison. Very nice. Very good. This home is getting built, so let's build the other one. Oh, let's say we get it over here and let's give them a porch as well. So, that will be the fourth home for the for families means they are covered so we have fiber that's soon gonna be built it's uh, made it's already being made there we go firewood I already had where is it no actually I didn't have any firewood did I already spend it very possible good thing I have a woodcutter then and the food is getting produced and I'm already down to just 200 food. So that will be all the food that the hunting cabin is producing. So how many jobs do I have and how many capable adults do I have? I have 4 hunters, 1 woodcutter. The builders are just about going to run out of jobs. Now do I have logs? I'm almost going to run out of logs. That means F8. Uh, F9 and wood would be tree, harvest trees actually not wood I want to keep this part here forested for the hunter to be able to attract some of those deers to come here if it's all clean well they do seem to come even if there are no trees but the trees are necessary probably to regrow the plants that can be gathered so I will try not to go into this forest but over here clear cut and probably these up here as well over here hmm let's see uh, that would be a seven and the gatherer would be a six so if he's placed here yep he won't be using those trees so f9 if I'm boring you with all the F's and numbers for these things, just tell me in the comments and I will stop doing that. Three and harvest trees. Three and harvest trees. <laughs> it almost rhymes. How am I with food? Ooh, very little food. How am I with uh, firewood? Some firewood? Or homes? Yep. Okay, what's up with this? 17, 17, 21, 18. Does somebody not live in a home? I have now nine. Oh, I see. So I got an adult, so I will need another home. Okay, three, one, another home. Well, since I will have a gatherer over here, and then 
I should probably put a home closer to him. Actually, the entrances and exits were over this side. It looked like this. So that will be... The, yeah, I have four citizens. Citizens? <laughs> I'll call them villagers. Without homes. So that should help. Look at this guy. He lives all alone. He's age 10. He's the guy that uh, graduated, so sort to speak. And he took a ho home just for himself. While he left a whole family out in the cold. That's cold. Whoops. Yeah, it's right click, not escape, sorry. Okay, builders, go build that home. House. Wooden house. Build that wooden house. Maybe I should increase priority on this. Uh, we F9. Nope. Now it will be F2 and 6. Is that even work? I guess it should. It works. Okay, so we don't have priority set. What else do I need to do? I probably need to increase production food. So I need to switch the builders for. Well, fishing would be awesome, but I'm kind of far away from this place. So. I guess gather is faster than building a bridge, a road, and then all the way here having that fisherman. Plus, I did just place this home to be built here, and in that home can live together, who will be over here somewhere. So, a gather. It is. F7, 6, gather. Turn him to, let's say, like this best place for him. No, I don't think I will be cutting those trees. Or will I? Would be better to go like this? No, better to go up here. Maybe a little bit to the side, like this. Uh, well, it's not the best spot, but it's the closest. So, yep, gather is cut placed it here. The home is almost built. I love this feel. It's like tropical. They are just hammering into me there and the building just gets magically built. Oh, this guy uses a saw even. That's cool. There we go. A house has been built and there's the family. You bastard, you left the family out in the cold. Terrible. What's your name? Elvudson. Elvudson? Seriously? With two L's? No wonder you're a dick. Family of hunters with two children. Okay. Oh, I got another dude. Another child that just graduated to 10 year old. But... Wait, so... One home, and this guy is still living alone, so where is the person that's 10? Probably this one. The hunter at 10? <laughs> wow, imagine being a hunter at 10 years old. That's a story to tell your grandchildren if you live <laughs> that long. So he's still living with his parents. Did I even get the gender right? Yeah, he's a male. This one is a male, so we have... A bachelor and a guy living in his mom's basement. Are there enough girls here? Okay, this one is four years old. I don't even want to think about that. Okay, so two girls at six, two girls at five. So yeah, we have to wait for the girls to grow up before they can move into with these two guys. Well, six years old, that means four years, they grow 1.2. 1.25 years per season, that means in less than a year they're gonna be able to move in. Well, okay then, let's build the guy a house so he doesn't have to live with his mom and dad. What's his name? Fisherwood. So this guy is called Elvudson and this guy is called Fisherwood. <laughs> Hilarious. Okay, so wooden house. Where? Oh, closer to the gather? 
Am I going to make him a gather? Probably. Oh, where is that gather's hut? I'm just randomly clicking right now. Here it is. So, I can have three gathers. So, definitely a uh, house should be over here. Whoops. F3, one. Uh, rotate. And. Okay, let's not have them carbon copies of each other. How about this one? Yeah. But I want the priority to be on the. Damn it. Priority to be on the gathers hut. Hut, right? Gathers hut. Hut, hut, hut. That sounds familiar. American football, maybe? So, logs, logs, logs. We are not any lone logs, but we do have plenty of firewood, so that should get us through the winter. What is it? Late autumn? Why would you be starving? No food! Whoa! You already managed to eat everything! Medicine, 600. Damn, this is harsh. This really needs to be built really soon. Because going into the winter with no food, that could end up very badly. What are those huntsmen doing? Hunters. Hunts, huntsmen. Hunters man. Well, if it's a girl, hunter's woman? Hunter. Okay, hunter. Let's just call them hunter. Working, working, working. Cold and finding some place to warm. Okay, that's understandable, I guess. It is late autumn. It is just 4 degrees above zero, so that's okay. I understand. And she's already off to work. That was fast. Come on. Villagers, we need food. We're gonna die if we don't have enough food. Gather's hut. What aren't builders doing? Picking up resources. Alright, oh, so the problem is that this thing is kind of far from the stockpile. Well, can't really help you guys with that. Can I? Well, no, I can't. I do have 12 adults now. I can say one more builder, but it doesn't really matter. The laborers and the builders will bring the resources, and there's like seven of them in total. So they should... Oh, there we go, some food just arrived. Excellent. And there it went. Whoa, what? Starvation? A child? How could I be this bad at this game after half an hour? It's been half an hour? Huh, let's check on that. So yeah, it's already been half an hour and I would like to try to keep these things as short as possible but still have something for you to watch in the video. So I just had my first death, I lost a child, I didn't have enough food, the hunters didn't get enough food in time. I'm hoping to get this thing the gathers had built before all of my villagers die of starvation. We'll see what happens in the next episode. Stay tuned.